What's going on, guys? Gas Station here with Prime Fusion, a howdy, longtime howdy. friend of mine, and we're going to talk about. I'm going to start. We're going to we're going to edit <laughs> character palettes so that when you randomize a ROM hack, they don't look all janky in battle. Yeah. So the reason why something like this is happening with Lowen is because Lowen's native class is a, is a cavalier, and cav like his like the ordering of of Lowen's specific palette is is ordered to cater to the cavalier. The cavalier has horse colors, as you can see here. These are like horse colors, um, and so when you kind of re like when you randomize Lowen as a cavalier into someone as like a thief or something, those horse colors are going to be jambled because those horse colors, wherever they were placed on the palette ordering, is now going to be placed somewhere um, where it would like match with the thief palette. So that's why when you uh, get these really disgusting looking palettes, especially for classes that aren't, like when you're trying to mix up, this is especially true for like, uh, like character, like classes with like horses and wyverns and pegasi. And when you mix them up with, with like unmounted units, all those sort of like beast colors are just gonna be all over the place. It's, and it's why you get a bunch of crazy glitchy palettes like that. Or when anyone becomes a mercenary, because the mercenary is just janky for no reason. <laughs> yeah, so I've been told. <laughs> so let's uh, let's make a new palette for yeah. Lowen. So the goal of this tutorial is to show you guys how to take your disgusting palette um, and and reorder the colors and make your gross palettes look really nice. Um, to do this, we use two programs. Uh, the first one is called Effie Recolor, which is a program created by uh, BWD Yeti. And its basic purpose is to, as I'll show you, uh, as, when, as I set this up, do you want to explain what Effie Recolor does? Brian? So Effie Recolor is going to let you create character palettes um, for people. Basically, you're going to like load up a, a class image. Um, and Effie Recolor comes with several class images already for you. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and use it to make a thief palette uh, for Lowen. Right. So since he's a thief, we're going to go to the thief picture here, um, which is right here. There it is. So we boot up the thief. Um, what's this? It comes with Matthew and Legault by default, it looks oh, like. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, but we're going to want to add a new one. Whoops. Yes. So first we're going to zoom a little bit. And the first thing we want to do when we add a new palette is we want to click add. So when we do this, we're basically uh, giving us kind of like another layer to this. So we can, it's, it's pretty much for organizational purposes. So you can like organize if you, if your game has like four Cavaliers, then you sort of add more palettes to the, to basically to equate to the amount of Cavaliers you have or something like that. For this, we're, we're changing this one. We can call this one low end. Now, um, next what we do is what we want to do now is we want to sort of get Lowen's colors ready. So when we apply them to this image and when we put the values, the RGB values into these little slots here, you can visibly see what your sprite will look like in game. So ahead of time, this is something that you should do if you're thinking about using Re FE Recolor uh, for, this, for, this, for this purpose. What we did, what I did, bef what I did just now was I sort of prepared a PNG image in Usenti, showing Lowen's like portrait and Lowen's like character palette, and I and I use the I use a program called Usenti, and you guys might be familiar with it. And what Usenti does, what what makes Usenti really good, is that it gives you the red, green, blue values right off the bat. Based and if you like use the color picker tool and you look at and you pick Lowen's brightest shade of green. You can just see the RGB values here, and you can take those values and just plop them right in the RGB values over here. So this is a really straightforward process. And all we're doing is we're gonna find whatever colors we want here, and we're gonna put them uh, where these colors are on this sprite for Lowen. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna change the hair. So very simple. We just use the color pickle, pick pickle. <laughs> I <laughs> use the color picker tool and we have 14, 27, and 21. So we go to the lightest hair 
and we go 14, 27, 21. Boom. And as you can see, Lowen's hair, or sorry, Matthew, Matthew's hair is changing. We do the second color, which is 10, 22, 17, and we go to 10, 22, 17. And the last one is 9, 15, 12. Same thing, 9, 15, 12. And as you can see, Matthew now has Lowen's hair. So next what we're gonna do is the same thing, but now we're gonna work on the cloak. Let's make Lowen's cloak his armor. It's gonna look kinda gross, but whatever. <laughs> so we do the same thing. We have 31, 24, and five. We go to wherever the cloak is, which would, since it's more red, it's gonna be right here. It's main three, two, and one. Um, so we do 31, it's already there, 24, and five. As you can see, we are turning into mustard. <laughs> 27, 19, 4. We do the same thing. Oh, that's the wrong one. 27, 19, and 4. You almost goofed. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one is 20, 13, and 8. We do 20, 13, and 8. And voila, we have his mustard. hair is mustardy and you know what i think i might do you think i should change those colors just like like i would i would uh make the middle shade a little darker yeah let's darken that uh like this that's probably good enough already yeah and for the pants let's just uh mm, we don't have to change the pants we don't i think really, they're fine as uh, is yeah, i mean don't... it goes with his hair already kind of yeah he kind of looks like um Lou from FE6. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he does. Anyway, so now that we have our you know what I want to make his I want to make his pants um black. Because I think it would look cooler than blue. So easy thing, we're just gonna go to the secondary color. Let's just turn this all to ten for for a dark color there. And then we'll change oh that might be too dark. And then this to I would use the tens for like the darker shade. Oh, I think I, I think I did the wrong one. Yeah, that's what I did. 10, 10, 10, and uh, 22, 22, 22. Oh, that's too... got gray. That's gray. Wow, this is just awful. <laughs> uh, let's do 7, 7, and 7, and... Wait, shit. God damn it. No, that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then do like, I don't know, try like 14 or something. Ah, there we go. I like, I like, ah. Uh, maybe a little bit brighter. All right. 13, 13. Yeah, let's roll with that. Yeah, so, yeah, that's all. Yeah. So now the next step is we have to take these values, convert them into hex, and then place the hex to the to the offset of where the game reads Lowen's palette. I recommend saving first. You want to hit click that save image ah. data button. Good it doesn't really give you any sort of indication that it's saved, so yeah. you just click it and trust it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the, 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 this is a kind of a funky program because the inner like the the look of it's kind of strange. You have to like depending on how big your monitor is, you have to like scroll up and if you see like the copy hex the clipboard button right there. That's what, you're, that's what you're looking for. So you hit copy hex the clipboard. And this, Prime, do you want to explain what this is? So that's just going to give you the hexadecimal values for all of your colors. Um, and it puts them in the order that the game expects to see them. That's really all it's doing. Right. So we're going to hit OK. And our next program is, which is like the complementary program to FE Recolor. And it's called the FE BS Palette Assembler. Um, what this does is it takes that hex you just copied and it places the hex. Um, it basically like it takes the color ordering that the hex sort of spats, spits out and reorders the actual palette. So when you load it into the game, it sort of it reads it the way it's supposed to be read from here, pretty much, right? That's how you, maybe you just yeah. Well, so like uh, palettes undergo like compression basically in the ROM, and so what 
BS Palette Assembler does is like it takes the palette that you got from every recolor, compresses it for you, and then inserts it um, the way it needs to be. And it's going to also do things like set up like the enemy palette and the NPC palette, which you also need. Um, if your character happens to be like an NPC initially or an enemy initially. Yeah. So. Um, so first thing we got to do for this one is we're just going to browse and we're going to get our ROM. So we have randomized fe7.gba, which is our ROM. Next thing we do is we go down here to this, uh, the palette entry dropdown, and we try to find, and we're gonna, for this one, we're gonna find Lowen's unpromoted palette, which so Lowen's promoted is right here. Lowen's unpromoted is right here. A social night. <laughs> <laughs> Next. So you're gonna wanna import from clipboard after that. I usually do extract palette entry first, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Nah, I mean, it gives you like confirmation that it's Lowen's palette, but. Yeah. Well, I mean, for the tutorial's sake, we'll just do that. So as yeah, you can so. see, this is Lowen's palette. Um, and the way this is currently ordered in the game gives you the glitchiness, because who knows what these colors are if for the thief, because these are like these are like the horse colors, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Yeah. yeah. And then there's like a blue in there, and that's like the horse saddle and whatnot. So. Yeah. Like, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the horse saddle color ended up in his hair. Yeah. Which is just ridiculous. His sword is his sword is his armor. It's outrageous. So now we hit import from clipboard, and as you can see, all of our colors just reordered themselves. Um, and you can even see for yourself. So you notice how how in the in the uh, in the palette that we extracted, uh, the 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 horse colors were right here. Or something like that, and then when we imported the, the from the clipboard, whatever horse colors, I'm fairly certain these were the, these were just the horse colors right now, and now they're the actual yeah. cloak colors. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much the visual representation of how uh, Effie Recolor is doing. It's like it's sort of Effie Recolor in action right now, and then all you do, um, you can do enemy and NPC, but this mostly can like I guess enemy and NPC would concern like the ran like randomized character like guy maybe if you wanted to change guy's enemy palette yeah. for like a turn i guess it's kind of useless but um you know it, it is useful if you're doing like an actual like rom hack and you're and there's an actual enemy palette that you want uh that wouldn't be all fucked up i guess <laughs> yeah um but like i guess for the purposes of of this it's probably just easier to do just a player palette and call it a day yeah <laughs> So after you have the player palette done, you want to hit insert palette entry. And all you do is click it, and then you get this little pop-up, and then you hit save ROM. And then the game, like this palette has now been saved into the ROM, and you just try again. You just boot up, control F1, and let's see if our palette is fresh. Funky fresh. And it is. There we go, look at that. Styling right now. Styling. It is that, guys, it is that easy. I apologize for taking so long, but it is literally that easy. All you have to do is just follow, is just work with two very simple uh, programs, and then you'll get you'll get the result you, you're, you're looking for. There are sometimes, this does sometimes come with a hitch. Um, sometimes you, even if you do follow this tutorial exactly, you might end up with a palette that uh, is still glitchy. Um, and if you ever run into like sort of more glitchiness, uh, it usually has to do with which colors have, how do I explain this? You know what I'm talking about, Prime? Like when you so, still, yeah. So that's usually like your, your palette, the colors in your palette are out of order. That's usually the culprit. Um, and you're gonna want to change the, this, these right side numbers. Um, these are like the order of the colors. So like the background is like the zeroth color, um, but then outline is like the 15th color um, mm -hmm. in the list. Yeah. And that matches up with like what BS Palette Assembler is, is showing you on the right. I think our outline is showing up as the very last color in that list. Uh, whereas like, you know, hair number three is what, the fifth palette, the fifth color in the palette. And so um, that's showing up, you know, right there yeah. so if if you're if you if your palette is still really weird um try just fiddling with the with the ordering yeah 
Yeah. Um, and if you if you have a weird palette, but you like you know it it just has to deal with two colors, um, or if 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 you deal with like multiple colors that seem to be out of place, just try to fix one issue at a time. Don't like don't like try to rearrange a bunch of colors, assuming that this is definitely the right mixture because. Um, sometimes the right solution you think of makes it worse. It happens. <laughs> it happens more often than you think. It's kind of a little. It's a complicated process. Well, it's sort mm-hmm. of complicated. But um, for the fir- for first timers doing this, they might run into that trouble where even if they do rearrange the colors, uh, you might have an issue. Um, so basically, your best bet to fix that is to find which two colors are sort of mis- mix matched with, e- with each other. And uh, say like my one and my three were in the wrong spot, I would just put. Uh, one here and then this would automatically be replaced as a three so it's that kind of thing that you want to try to figure out um, and once you get the hang of that uh, then doing this becomes really second nature it's that easy um, and you can get really creative with the pa- with the with the color palettes um, I know some people use advanced palette editor for this but don't <laughs> do not like don't use advanced palette editor like I used to I used to swear by it but then like I figured out how to use Effie recolor and, and, and BS palette assembler together it is so much more efficient, um, and it's just so much easier to work with. So, yeah, this that's pretty much. You heard all it here, folks. Yeah, you heard it here. Like, <laughs> we know what we're talking about. Advanced palette editor for GBA is so clunky. It is needlessly clunky. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all you need to know. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have fun. You know, fixing up your palettes that are all fucked up. And with that being said, thanks, Prime, for joining. No problem. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have fun fixing your shitty palettes. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye.